Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show. Wake up to love your call to action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hey, listen, I am so thrilled to be talking with Cornelia Stephanie today. And let me tell you why. You know, when I think about people that have looked at transformation in their lives, both energetically and physically, and how how she has been able to help others look at what it means to be that whole human, that whole holy human, what does that mean? How do we live heaven on earth? And that's what today's show is about. I have to tell you, I grew up with a mom that that was her go-to phrase for almost everything. You know, she talked about living heaven on earth, and I didn't really understand what it meant until much later on. Today, you're going to hear about it, but you're also going to hear about, you know, what Cornelia has created for everyone out there to experience wholeness, step into your wholeness journey, and become a wholeness practitioner, because the world needs you today. For those of you that know who Cornelia is, one of the things that I'm probably saying is redundant, but whether you know her as an author, as a teacher, as a lecturer, as an energy intuitive, uh, she's somebody that will encourage all of us, all of us to step out, get rid of outdated beliefs and step in to the wholeness that is our birthright. Uh, Cornelia, you work at, at the, the, listen, this show is so timely to look at what this means in so many ways. All of what's going on with people coming forward in their power and their strength, it is beyond explainable. And folks thought we would never go through an era again in our lifetime where people would become so outspoken, that's not a good term, so spoken out about the things they believe in. Welcome to the show. And I'm sure you have a little bit to say about that. (laughs) Uh, Yes, I do. Thank you so much for this uh, perfect day, just like right after Easter. So I hope that you enjoyed your Easter uh, rebirthing time and all the all the listeners enjoyed their their Easter and the energies right now are absolutely ripe for resurrecting the life that we came here to live. And of course, that involves uh, us speaking up and standing strong for what it is that we believe in and creating the world deliberately. Mm -hmm. So part of uh, living heaven on earth is knowing that this is the this is the time in our evolution to live heaven on earth because the evolution calls for it. Just like you said, your mother, that was always her go-to. She was most likely tapping in intuitively that that yeah. day will come. Because when when people look at what does what does it really mean to live heaven on earth? What does that mean? So if you look up uh, heaven in Wikipedia, you will find that heaven is a place where holy ones live. Heaven is a place where our ancestors live. Heaven is a place where there's no disease, there's no illness, there's no war. Heaven is a place where you talk to God. Heaven is a place where there's peace beyond understanding. And that time to experience and live that is part of our evolution on earth today because we are all called to bring heaven to earth now and live it. 
Uh, that's that's what yeah. it's like yeah. living to to bring that because you know, and we have to step into our our greatness. We have to step into our integrity, and we have to step into our truth. Mm. And and a lot of a lot of people um, may not be um, in harmony yet. Yeah. With holding that much light that much greatness that much responsibility because it takes a lot of responsibility to um realize that you can you can have anything that you want that is in harmony with nature mm. and that you're here to create change that is based and rooted in love and peace and it all starts with you yeah, I love what we're talking about today. And you mentioned about the rebirth. Um, I, I, people, we were kind of joking about getting my hair done, right? Uh, there's a sense that I have about this idea of rebirth, that especially this year, you know, it, I've done a little bit of research to try to say, what is it about what's happening now and the way things are developing now? And what it is that each of us is called to do now, now. And what other action do we have to take to be in the now energy of that? And I know one of the things you talk about, right? Uh, I go get my hair done, right? What's the big deal? No big deal. But my color is not this. It is a different color. It is your color, right? Right. So the people around you are thinking, oh, my gosh, why are you doing that? Why are you getting that color? You're not even gray. Why are you doing that? And I stopped trying to explain it. But you go get your hair done as 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 well as you go step out in the world, take your gift. You have to trust that the people in your life are going to really show up in the way you want. And you have to trust that even if they don't, it's OK. And so today we're talking about heaven on earth, but living in trust, that's something that you talk about that's super important, super important today. Yeah. Well, you know that, um, I mean, in heaven, uh, trust is uh, a virtue that is continuously brought into each and every now moment with every thought, action, and deed, with every choice that we make, and as empowered creators that we are in the image and the likeness of the one. Yeah. What else would we be doing but to emit a frequency of trust? And what does that mean? It means that uh, you have done that inner work and you've released. The opposite of trust is betrayal. Yeah. Yeah. And you have released betrayal out of your physical body. Because if you think about it, for the last 26,000 years, and maybe even go back to um, um, the energy of when, when, when Christ was, was here. Go back to that time. Even betrayal at that particular point in time was playing out in the movie uh, of our evolution, the energy of betrayal. Well, now in our evolution, it is absolutely called for that we um, heal that part of our self because it is not something that's necessary anymore. We've just completed a cycle of living everything that we are not to now move and live in a cycle so that we can experience everything that we are and everything that we are. I think that's the big piece to get used to is to, to, to get used to, because if you've been chained in prison for such a long time and you've, you've endured so much pain and suffering, which is part of, um, it's all in our physical body, releasing that energy out of our physical body, releasing that trauma out of our physical body. And now living in a space of, uh, peace beyond understanding, that is the place where um, spontaneous healings happen. That is the place where full trust, because you're the one that is bringing that energy of trust with the choices that you make in life. Trusting, mm -hmm. first of all, the trust starts within yourself. You have to trust yourself and you have to be able to know that 
there is no separation between you and the creator and that you've healed that part within yourself. And that that's the practice. It's it's a practice. It doesn't it doesn't happen overnight. It's all the inner work that that we're doing. But once you heal the betrayal out of your physical field, out of your physical body, once that is gone, it's completely gone. And the mm-hmm. only thing that's left is the opposite of it, which is trust. That's the energy that you will be emitting. And the people that are in your environment, the people that you have, um, that you have a, a influence over will feel that energy of trust that you're emitting and they will trust you. And those are the kind of people that you will be resonating to you like a magnet yeah. because you are emitting that energy of trust. I mean, isn't that we all what we all want? Trust in our relationships. Yeah. We want to trust the universe. We want to trust our creator. We want to trust our partner. We want to trust. Um, we want to trust the people that we're in business with. And you know, I was just talking to my mother the other day, and she was telling me, she says, ah, "I don't think that you should uh, connect with that lady because." Um, she, she is so-and-so and and she is so-and-so and and she's so-and-so. And And I, I told my mom, I said, well, I really don't have to worry about it because if she is meant to be part of my, um, environment, then she's going to be there. But if she's not meant to be part of the environment, then she's not holding the energy of trust and she's just going to end up, it's just going to end up falling away. So it, it was that kind, it's that kind of a situation you see. I I love what you're talking about because on a real practical evolution of this, people went through, this is the movie, The Secret. I did it. I did this. I didn't get it. The missing element to those that manifested, whatever that was on their board. You know, I love this because I watched this on American Idol where one of the people brought her vision board in. And, you know, showed on the vision board, the difference between those that, that, that really manifest is the level by which they trust, but the strength of their conviction to trust that it will happen. And you and I know that in the scheme of things, when a, when a challenge shows up, there are two things that we get. We get doubt and we get belief. And we have to, or trust is another word for belief. Which one are we going to choose? Which one are we going to choose? Exactly. Are we going to think about, well, wait a minute, you know, I'm starting to really wonder about that person, that job, that thing, that thing, that resume, that network, that thing. The minute we open ourselves up for that, it's like my mom says, that ain't heaven. Well, you know what, you know, uh, the thing about it is, is you have to be able to, in that moment, those two challenges you were just talking about, you have to be able to override that doubt with the trust. That's how the choice is made to know. And this is why I wanted to talk about this subject today about trust, living heaven on earth in trust, because isn't that what Jesus would do? Isn't that what God would do? Isn't that what the image and likeness would have us do? Is that is the energy that the frequency that we're emitting. And I want everybody to know that if your dream has not been created as of yet, if you haven't achieved in your life what it is that you came here to do, I don't want you to fret about it because all it's going to happen. It's absolutely going to happen. You're absolutely going to achieve the success and live the life that you were meant to be because that is what's called for and you will be able mm-hmm. to do it. Yes. I love this. Let's go ahead and skip the break because I, I want to make sure that, you know, this next part of this is so important. And that is, you know, the body is Stargate. But here's the thing I want to say before we jump ahead. I want folks to know how they can find out more about you. Mm -hmm. I also would like folks to know more about how they can become a wholeness practitioner, you know, the retreats you're doing, because you're not just here talking about it. You've taken action. You've created a way for people then to learn how to show up in this way and then teach others. Yes, yes. So the way that people can get a hold of me is that they can go to CorneliaStephanie.com. 
And all of my, um, what I'm talking about today with becoming a wholeness practitioner, if they look under the Evolve tab, uh, right there, there is um, it, there's a tab about wholeness, and then there's a tab about become a wholeness practitioner. And just a little bit later in the show, I want to be able to go through some of the classes that the upcoming classes that I'm offering for our physical body, because the physical mm-hmm. body is the stargate. <clears throat> So corneliastephanie.com. You can also email yeah. me at radio at corneliastephanie.com and receive as a free gift uh, for listening today my 21-day miracle course. It's a 21-day um, text and audio course that I will send to you so that you can experience and perceive miracles in your life every single day because, of yeah. course, you know, miracles happen in heaven. Mm-hmm. And this is this is the time, and I want people to know that you know, we are manifesting by the speed of light right now. And I created a course for us to be able to um, manifest what it is that we want by the power of our spoken word and knowing that what it is that we're speaking out is the energy that's going to come back to us. So it's like a boomerang. So the words that you speak out, it's going to go and it's going to find its way back to the receiver. This is one of the classes that's that's offered in the wholeness practitioner course. But going back to the physical body. So yeah. the physical body, um, you know, we've been programmed in our past conditioning, uh, in our subconscious beliefs. The the mind is was on autopilot, and all of the subconscious negative beliefs are programmed there, and they were programmed in negativity. You're not good enough. You're never going to amount to anything. Doubt fear, all the negative self-talk that is in the subconscious mind that is running on autopilot. That's that's one of the things that happens. The other thing that happens inside the physical body is your emotional body. Your emotional body holds all the trauma from all of your lifetimes. Take that in from all of your lifetimes that you're releasing out of your experience today in through your relationships, through your relationship with life. Your spiritual body is so important because that is the place where you connect with your creator and realize that you are not separate nor never have been because you... I don't know what your thoughts are about God, the light, love, uh, oneness, but that's for you to, to find out and identify with, you know, because based on our conditioning of the past, religion has had a lot of, uh, added a lot of negativity, a lot of negative programming with the word God. So it, it depends on where you are with that. Uh, you know, when, 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 when people talk about near-death experiences, like I, the person that comes to mind is Anita Morjani. Uh, she was um, she had a near death experience where she um, she was on the on the um, on the operating table. They all the organs and everything was shutting down, and she was on her way out of her physical body. She was already on the other side of the veil, speaking with her angels and with God and speaking with everybody over there. And she was looking to see, um, does she want to stay or does she want to come back? And she really didn't want to come back into her physical body. She wanted to stay where she was feeling so much peace because, uh, that's, that's how we feel in the light. That's how we feel in heaven. We feel such tremendous peace. And um, when when she was encouraged, go back. It's not your time yet. She made the decision to come back. And so this is the decision that we all have to make here today is do we want to live? Do we want to live? And are we really engaged in living? Because if we are, we can bring our physical body into a higher vibrational way of living and being right here heaven on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Everything happens with your physical body. Everything is about the physical body. It's about how we uh, treat our physical body. You know, we have been victim to our bodies for a long, long time. And now uh, 
we must Mm -hmm. bring, nurture our bodies to, um, and also allow our bodies to self-regenerate because that's the other thing that that our physical body is able to do is to self-regenerate and to move into self-healing because your body is capable of moving into self-healing. Your body is capable of spontaneous healing. Mm -hmm. Your body, just like Anita Morjani's body, after she chose to come back, and she said, yes, I'm going to, I'm going to come back. It took about six months mm-hmm. for all the organs to come back. And now she's out there and she's teaching um, out there talking about what if this is heaven? Yeah. And so this is heaven. It's, it's only your perception because it's in our state of consciousness where heaven exists it's that holy place that you're going to bring into your physical body Mm -hmm. when you're ready to receive that level of light right Mm -hmm. yeah you know it's interesting we're talking about this i uh i was working with someone the other day and i said you know there's a book that i that was given to me i don't know a million years ago i can't even remember now and I read the book and it changed my life. And then I started as I built my coaching practice um, and I started to work with homeless people, people in addiction. That is the book, every book. You can go and get whatever other books you need in a 12-step program or any other program. But this book by Viktor Frankl, that is the first book we're going to read together. Mm -hmm. Because you and I can talk to people about our experience and getting through horrific times in our lives. But is there anything that the average person could understand any more than a concentration camp? And so when I read about this and and when I read about Frankel and he talks about attitude and then you practice it, you start to appreciate every moment of every breath you take. Every exactly. moment of every breath you take. Exactly. Because, you know, we, we don't know how long we're here. I just, I was talking the other day to, I facilitate a tribe gathering here once a month. And I was talking to the tribe and I was saying, you know, just the last, in the last uh, week alone, two of my friends that are my age, um, that, that were, they, they left, they passed. And, and it's really, and these are my age people. So these are not people that are 80 or 90 years old. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are, they're young and, um, we, it's really bringing it to the home front of, um, you know, appreciating where we are right now and bringing that life force yeah. energy into each and every now moment because we're multidimensional beings. And, you know, the past, bringing the past into the now and making peace with the past and forgiving everything that has happened in the past, which is also what happens in heaven. So this is also another way to, you know, look at, okay, if you don't think that you can forgive what's happened in the mm-hmm. past, then, um, that that's the place for you to work, right? Because, yeah. uh, you know, um, forgiveness is a wonderful tool, but even in heaven, we understand there's nothing to forgive. To forgive. There's, I love this. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, you're so right on, you know, this idea of trust, it has been something for me that I'm grateful. I did get it from my birth mom and I got it from my step mom. But the thing I love about this is when I was 23 years old, I turned to Linda and I said to Linda, out of nowhere, now mind you, I hardly, barely graduated high school. I couldn't even put a sentence together. And I said, I'm going to get a PhD. 23, I'm 23. And I looked at her and I said, I'm going to get a PhD. So Linda's been my friend since 1973. I looked at her and said, Linda looked at me without question and said, absolutely, you will get it. And she held that space. Now, I got a PhD. When was that? I went back to school in 93, 94, eight years. But I didn't want a PhD because I wanted esteem. See, I delivered mail at Bell Labs with the people that created the big bang that those people the big the create 
the people that you walked into their sound rooms and their experiment, their labs and all of the, and they juggled and, and, and so I delivered mail to them. They never put their mail away. I love that. I love that they never open their mail. Number one, they were always happy. They taught me how to play table tennis. So I saw at the end of their name, PhD. I saw PhD. And I must, I thought, I, I, I am, it was imprinted that the H was happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that these were happy people. Mm-hmm. And so I thought if I just got that thing. There, so it, this is this is so perfect because you know um, talking to people today and asking them when will you be happy? So be, then I'll ask the question. You know, when will you? When? What is it that? What is it really that that would offer you fulfillment? What is it that really that would make you happy? What is it? And not putting it into the future, not putting that energy into when in the future, when I get there, when I'll get this or when I get that, then I'll be happy. Then it'll be because if you bring all your energy right here and right now and absolutely know that you're going to, that you're trusting, that you're going to achieve whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest in the future that you think is going to make you happy then. Bring that energy of trust and love into this now moment. Yeah. And that is really what it's about. It's it's bringing that joy, bringing that breath, bringing that love, bringing that trust, bringing that peace beyond understanding into the now moment and knowing that all the old stuff is falling away anyway. All yeah. the old things that are not in harmony those are all the the uh, thousands of times that we die while we're alive in this lifetime is by through surrendering and letting mm-hmm. go of all the things that are not in harmony with us so that we can move into our authentic nature, our true authentic nature. And our true authentic nature is so grand. It's so great that can you accept it? Can you accept that you are a master? Can you accept that you are the second coming? Can you accept that you are Christ? Can you accept that you are God? Can you accept that you are the creator sent in the image and the likeness of the one? And can you accept that level of responsibility, that level of greatness, that level of truth? Because that is the truth. That is the absolute truth. Everything else is a lie. It is a lie. I love this because this is really, we're going to talk about now when we come back, how do we reach that ascended living? How do we get from whatever it is that's going on to thriving in life? And, you know, you and I, well, I don't want to speak for you. I didn't get here without a lot of help from a lot of people in my life that were angels to me. Uh, spiritual mentors that showed up in my life, you know, my spiritual mentor who passed away very suddenly, like you just talked about, you know, boom, on a trip that I was supposed to be on with her. But so many people came along to help me and what you're doing. And we're going to talk about this when we come back. You're sharing everything you've learned, just like I do on air with people so that they too can come together And in the collective nature of the tribe, we can create that boomerang you talked about. When we come back, we're going to talk about how that can happen in your life today. Uh, And we're going to talk about, listen, this is ascended living time. This is it. And people ask me, Cornelia, they ask me, Patty, you know, how do you, why do you say that, Patty? Why do you say it is like an ascended living time? Don't you read the news? Don't you look at... I said, listen, I never said we didn't need contrasts in the world so that we could see the highest level of what we can become. I said, that's not what I'm saying, but we don't have to be that. Look at the contrast. Look at the people that are ascending forward in life. You know, this morning, teachers walking out, I mean... That is not a bad thing for what they're doing. But where did this come from all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. There's something happening and being called in each of us. When we come back, Cornelia is going to tell you how you can facilitate that within you. Mm -hmm. And then what is it going to look like for all of us to move beyond 
whatever the human condition is we think we have that is keeping us stuck. Are you going to be a message in a bottle? Are you going to be the wave? We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. You know what? I love this here. For those of you that are watching on Facebook, I want to just say, give you a shout out. Yeah. Um, and for those of you that are listening the way you always listen, I want to give you a shout out too. And one of the things I'm in deep appreciation now, our 15th year for all of you that tuned us in 15 years ago. And remember what those first shows were like, crust busting your way to an awesome life. And by the way, thanks to all of you, we are actually bringing back a crust busting hour. It never really did go away, uh, but we're bringing it back. And it's for the reason that Cornelia talked about today and what she's going to share with you. Each and every one of us is being asked to step it up. That's my language. We're being asked to step it up. In our case, we're being asked to step it up and get out our positive uh, positive mojo movement now. Uh, we now see the evidence of that in the world of podcasting. We just reviewed a study on podcasting. Jessica and I, we looked at this big prediction on podcasting and we said, oh my God, we're like doing all of this. Mm -hmm. And we said, we just got to let the world know. But what you're doing is, and I love this, we can be that message in the bottle, right? That message in the bottle is, I got to write a note of desperation. I need help. Let me take my message and put it in the bottle and I'm going to take it and I'm going to float it out in some ocean, right? And maybe somewhere along the way, somebody will pick it up and rescue it. Well, you know what? It's now the time to be the wave. It's the wave that's going to gather up the energy that's going to come on shore. That's going to develop what that is that each of us needs to do but we can't do it alone. I've had teachers, you've had teachers. So tell me a little bit and tell all of us what you've put together to help us move this thing forward. Yes, um, I love what you said about, um, uh, you know, how we need help. And really the help that we need is also the help that we're going to give ourselves by choosing to. Because it's everything c continuously comes down to choice. And what I created and what I put together, I wish this would have been available to me <laughs> when when the secret came out back in the day. Oh, my God. You know, I became a law of attraction coach and, you know, and I, I was all about manifesting. And all of a sudden I realized, oh, my God, there's so much more to uh, positive thinking. There's so much more because the law of attraction piece back in the day, the secret didn't have the emotional piece. It didn't have the piece of em being emotionally wealthy because in 2008, when I began this process, um, I, I was still deeply in my emotional pain and suffering of healing betrayal, healing abandonment issues, healing unworthiness issues, and healing all of these things that are all inside the physical body. And so what I created is an amazing course to help people become their own wholeness coach, their own wholeness practitioner, um, taking their physical body through all the various different stages that I talked about earlier with the emotional piece, the mental piece, the shadow work, the ego, all these things. And I'm going to show you a few things right now about that. But one thing I want to say, um, something I wanted to say about. Uh, and I just want to say this. All of this is for everyone. It doesn't matter what age you think you are. Yes. How many children you think you have. And by the way, if you are a mom and or a dad and you've got some, yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, if you're a mom and you've got some kids, this is now when you want to do this. It, uh, it, but if you're not, it's for everybody. You're in a job you don't want, but maybe you're in a job you do want. It's to be able to bring it all together so that what you said before is so important. We can choose trust. We can choose trust. We just don't know how. Yeah. Here, here's, here's, here's what, what, what happened for me. I used to have a thought. That's the negative thought that was attached to a belief. That's the subconscious belief that was attached to an emotion that I wasn't good enough and that I wasn't worthy. And I used to make choices that reflected that belief on automatic. So now 
after that program flipped, now I have a thought, the thought of trust, the thought of truth, the thought of integrity, that I am worthy beyond measure. And that is owned in my physical body. That's what embodiment means. That is reprogrammed. The subconscious is reprogrammed. The emotional body is in harmony with that thought, with that vibration, because it's absolutely 100% true that I am worthy and so are you. So is everybody. Everybody is worthy. No one can deem you not worthy. It's a belief and a program that has been conditioned and programmed in into you from our past conditioning and there's no judgment it just is but if you're still making choices based on not good enough that there's not enough you're always going to be out there trying to prove that there's enough that you're good enough and you're trying to earn and you're trying to make things happen you're trying to push and you're trying to convince these are all parts of an old paradigm that's dying that is dying now now, and you're being reborn into the truth. And the truth is that you're infinitely abundant, infinitely worthy. It can't even be put on a scale. It can't even be measured. So that's what I wanted to say. And, you know, the, the time for what, what, what I support people in is birthing the new generation of women and men that are leading in their self-actualization. We're leading in self-actualization. We're here now that um, living beyond the human condition of the victim. Living beyond the human condition of needing to be saved by someone uh, because you're the savior. The savior is already here. Look inside because you know why? God sent you. God sent you to realize you. God sent you to, God said yes to you when you said, can I go down there and and participate in this grand play, you know, because when you were talking about Viktor Frankl earlier, yeah, uh, waking up in a concentration camp, um, our awakening is kind of sort of like that. It's like all of a sudden, you know, we're waking up and we're realizing, oh my God, we've been negatively programmed in this prison and there's war going on. And that's not in harmony with our true nature anymore. And now, but this starts on the inside. Peace is an inside job. The world is an inside job. It doesn't matter what the outside world is doing because the outside world is going to do what the outside world is going to do. What matters is what you do on the inside world because your body is the stargate. You're the one that is the conductor of this vessel, this ship. You're the one that is rippling out this amazing change because of that level of trust that you're continuously emitting, that frequency that you're emitting, knowing and trusting absolutely that you are the creator, that you are the one that is now living the life of your dreams, living the life that you came here to resurrect. And speaking of these resurrection energies, uh, we are all now resurrecting our missions. We're resurrecting our divine uh heritage, our inheritance, and we just have to make room in our physical bodies to take all of that in. So I created a course, it's called um, Practicing Wholeness, and um, you can go to CorneliaStephanie.com, look under the Evolve tab, and underneath there it says uh, the wholeness journey, which tells you all about the wholeness journey, because in truth, we're already all whole. We, We already are our whole. We're just collecting the fragmented parts, the places that we've given our power away because of the separation. We're just collecting those parts back in. We're bringing those parts back into our, our, our truth. And that's what practicing living in wholeness is about. And it's not done overnight because this is, this, this, this takes a little while, but this course is the course that everybody needs to sign up for. Everybody needs to have this course because it gives you all the basics. You know, when we have the basics, the basics is really all you need. And once you have the basics, you have everything that you need inside of you. So to become a wholeness practitioner, um, I launched this course. It was back in 2013. And I I, I launched it with uh, five uh, coaches. And they are now practicing and living in wholeness. And it was very, very successful. And since then, I added on six online classes. And just yesterday, wow. I was asked to make the classes 
a separate price, not just only included with the retreat. So this is what I've done. So I'm going to take you through this right now. So the six online classes, what are they about? The first class is about the power of the spoken word. In the beginning was the word. We speak our world into being with the power of our words. So if you throw negative words and you throw negative fears and, and, and whatever, like the boomerang that I talked about, that's what's going to be coming back to you as the transmitter. You're the one that's putting that energy out there. So class one, this is a 60 minute, it's a 90 minute class, 60 minutes of uh, conscious languaging. And then I'm going to do a 30 minute clearing and healing Q&A with people all the way. Awesome. Class two, radical self-healing. It, uh, the power of emotions to heal the body. Healing your core wounds by using our emotions as a clearing tool is a simple and powerful technique. Core wounds are abandonment, betrayal, unworthy, not good enough, shame, survival needs, the victim consciousness, and separation from God or source. To clear ourselves, we must let go of all the emotional charges and return back to our neutral st state. Class three, radical self-healing, the power of emotion and anger to release suppressed feelings. Oh my gosh, that is such a powerful class because it's really okay to get in touch with our anger, but it's not okay to project the anger out on another person causing harm, and it's not okay for you to suppress that energy in your physical body causing harm. Both are destructive. So that's a class that, that brings all of that because anger has the ability to cause illness if it's suppressed in the physical body. It's an amazing class. Class four, Radical self-healing, the power to change limiting beliefs. So limiting belief, a limiting belief would be something like, um, I have to work hard for the money, or I'm never going to make it, or uh, I'm not worthy. That's a limiting belief. And I will show you how to transcend these beliefs into pure knowing, into absolute truth, because living beyond the human condition is living in your knowing. It's beyond belief. It's a belief is something that can be changed at any point in time. You can sit down and you can believe something else. But a knowing is something that cannot be changed. Once you know something, you know it and you cannot not know it. So that's what that class is about. Class five is radical self-healing. Radical self-healing in this class is about the shadow and projecting the, the energy of projection that we put out onto other people. And um, that class is a uh, a wonderful way for you to learn how to love your shadow and walk intimately with your shadow while walking with your divinity at the same time, because we're both, we're human and we're divine. And when we, when we merge both and when we can bring our heart and our compassion to the consciousness and the awareness that we're both, that's it. Class six, healing your relationship with money. Oh my God. Oh boy. So huge. That oh is so boy. huge. Okay. In this class, we're going to get honest with how you feel about money and illuminate any negative beliefs around money. And the other thing, just this last past week, I mean, even one of the coaches that um, is a facilitator in the wholeness coaching program, and I've been working with her for years, just this last past week, we were clearing ancient, ancient um, poverty lines out of her family lineage, um, vows that she made to stay poor, vows that she made, religious vows that she made to stay poor. And so this is all part of um, the wholeness course. So after these classes, there's going to be a three-day retreat, and we're going to put it all together because um, there's something so powerful when we come together for the retreat because we're going to go deeper into the emotions. And working with me and the, and the group that's going to be here one-on-one uh, -on -one is going to really help you integrate uh, that energy. So there's a three-day retreat. All of this is, is available right here on this page, Become a Practitioner. So I separated the classes. The classes begin on Saturday, May 5th, and they end on Saturday, June 9th. And they're all 90 minutes in length every Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And so you're just going to go here, and all the information is right here on the website. And you can sign up for 
the um, the six online classes, which I made available for eighty nine dollars. Mm. Eighty nine dollars wow. for those six classes. Wow. I want everybody to have it, Pat. I, I want everybody to have it, and I want everybody to be able to have the tools for basic living. All this stuff should really be free, but I also have to make a living. And um, so, anyway, I want everybody. I want everybody to have it. The three day certification retreat. So, um, if you want to include the six online classes and then come and be a wholeness practitioner certified by me, which is going to give you the ability to. Um, practice living in wholeness and then teaching others and also be a wholeness coach and um, beco- become part of the wholeness community. So there's that and all the information is listed there on how to sign up. After the online classes are presented, we're going to take a two week break and then the wholeness certification retreat is in at the end of June. So the information's right there. The other thing that I've created is in order for people, every every day people wake up with a negative voice in their head that says they're not enough, they're not good enough. And so I created um, an online portal every single day that's called Daily Devotion. And that is an opportunity for people to raise their um, daily frequency, to raise their daily vibe, to become their own authority and listen to their true voice within. Mm. And I uh, have a membership that people can sign up for. It's also listed here on this page. And everybody should sign up for that too because it's $13 a month and to receive the daily inspiration, the daily motivation so that you can reprogram your mind, your physical, mental uh, mind and um, move that back into harmony, which is uh, back into truth and positivity. The other thing I'm doing is I've got my online um, radio shows that are hosted every Friday, uh, Living Heaven on Earth. And I have amazing teachers and people that I'm uh, bringing on that are game changers on the planet. So uh, the first Friday of the month, it's Tom. Tom is seeing the world through the eyes of an angel. And what would heaven on earth be like if we're not all recognizing that we are all angels? We are all angels and seeing the world through the eyes of of an angel. Tom helps us do that. The second um, host that I have is Charlene Hess, and she helps us step into our calling. She helps us step into our purpose and is also assisting us with meditation. So be sure to check out the Living Your Heaven on Earth radio show with me every Friday at noon. I'm getting ready to start another show, Pat. And the show that I'm getting ready to, to, to roll out, most likely it's going to be um, in May, early June, and it's called The Millionaire Imprint. And The Millionaire Imprint, and, and the tagline is this, Pat, you're going to love it. Okay, you ready for this? You ready for the tagline? Millionaire Me Too. Yeah. Hashtag, hashtag Millionaire Me Too. I love it. Hashtag millionaire too. So the, it's called the millionaire imprint with Cornelia Stephanie, and I'm going to have other hosts. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring you uh, the boom millionaire generation that is being birthed now into the new world because it's absolutely essential. Look, money is going to be around for a long time. Right. And you know why I know that is because I asked the high council to find out, is money really going away? Money is not going away for a long time because we as a collective, we're not done with money. And so it's important that we bring money with us into the new earth, that we are wealthy beyond measure, that we um, end the cycle of suffering and that we end the cycle of poverty. So it's important that we birth, reborn reborn the millionaire generation the people that are ready to embody that blueprint and that are ready to say yes to that it's so important that we do that because that is going to put the money into the light workers hands where we're going to be doing good for um our brothers and yeah. sisters, because we're going to end yeah. that cycle. We're going to yeah. feed the children and we're going to make sure yeah. that everybody has the money and we're not waiting for somebody to come and save us or for somebody to come and do it for us because we're going to do it. And that's why I created my online membership to help with raising your daily frequency. I created my wholeness practitioner course to give you the basics that you need and then living your heaven on earth radio show. Um, and people, of course, if they want to work with me on personal coaching, business coaching, 
email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com because we're unstoppable right now. We are. And the thing that is, let's let's make sure that we, we're finishing this conversation with people listening is that <clears throat> if this conversation we're having about money makes you cringe, don't walk, run, and sign up because the exchange of money and the energy of that goes back thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years. You know, everything you read, let's, you know, in the Bible and other scriptures and other stories, there is an exchange and it, we call it money, but it is the exchange of something for another thing. In our society, if you want to do good deeds in the world, then you want to be able to have the resources to do it. And we do want that. We all want to do great things in the world, especially if you're listening to this show. I know you do. Cornelia, thank you so much. Please, one last question. What's your personal message? And let's give out that website for folks again. My personal message is step into your sovereignty. I'm calling you. I'm calling you to sign up for my wholeness practitioner course. I'm calling you to to step into your sovereignty, to step into the truth of who you are and don't hold back because we need that uniqueness, that unique essence that you are. We need that. We want to hear that from you. CorneliaStephanie.com, radio at CorneliaStephanie.com. Facebook at Cornelia Stephanie. And it's an honor and a pleasure to be with you. And Pat, you are such an amazing way shower. I want to thank you again for hosting me and for creating such an awesome platform for us to come and shine. And this, this is my home now. Um, and I'm, I'm not only launching the, I not, not only do I have the living your heaven on earth radio show, I just signed up for another radio program. And then I'm also doing another one. So my radio career, uh, as my, uh, way shower here, Pat, has showed the way and and made it easy for us to deliver our message in a in a, in an absolutely dynamic way. Thank you so much to you and your team. Thank you. And you know what? Magic happens when two or more are gathered, and boom, we got a boom. bunch. Of, we got like the two millions or more. Thank you, Cornelia, Stephanie, everybody. I'm Dr. Pat. We're gonna take a short break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 